All right, hello and welcome. This is Aaron with Steel Picking. And we're going to do one more installment on our uh, Picker of the Month or Player of the Month, which in this instance is Lloyd Green. Uh, I've got a bunch of licks that I do that are in his style or actually uh, licks that he does. But I'm going to show you one from his earlier uh, part of his career, uh, probably in the 60s. And it's kind of a... They, had a term for it called chicken picking, but it's kind of like a um, that style. And there, and Weldon Mark and Hal Ruggs and some of the other players were also doing this. It was pretty popular in uh, Nashville at that time. A lot of the hit records that came out during that era had this style of picking on it. So uh, I thought I'd show you this. Also on this one, we're going to do it with the rhythm uh, because I had some posts people wanting to know. Uh, it helps them to have a backing track with, with these licks. So in this instance, we will have the track. I'll play it through a couple of times with the rhythm to kind of give you an idea of how that works. So uh, let's look at the lick. Look at this uh, Lord Green lick. It's a pretty interesting lick, and it, uh, it's got a few challenges to it. The uh, main part that's hard to do, or the, the challenging part, will be the picking, or right hand part of it. So I'm going to show you the pattern, and that pattern repeats. So if we can get that pattern up here, you do the same exact pattern here as far as your right hand. Alright, so let's look at it. Let's go to our 15th fret because this is going to be out of the key of G. You play 3 and 5. That's the only strings that we're using. You play 3 and 5 as a, as a group with index, index middle. Middle on 3, index on 5. So then you play three and five like that. Then you play five with your thumb. That's like three, five as a group at 15. Index middle, five with your thumb. Play five at your 14th fret with your thumb. Okay, then you play five again at your 15th fret. Okay, so I'll talk that out again one more time. 15th fret, you play three and five as a group, index middle, play five with your thumb, play five at your 14th fret with your thumb, play five at your 15th fret with your thumb. Okay, the last part of the lick, you play three and five as a group at your 14th. Then you play three and five as a group at your 13th. Okay, so that's the lick. Okay, that's over the G. All right, the second part of it is we go to our pedals down position, which would be our 10th fret with A and B pedals down. You leave the pedals down throughout the whole part of this lick. It's the same exact pattern. And that's actually playing over a G7. Okay, so I'm not going to talk that out. You, you play 10. It's exactly the same movements that you did here. You do the same thing here at 10th fret, pedals down. And 
And I believe you'll be able to figure that out. I mean, it's, it's the same thing I did here, but I moved it down 10 with A and B pedals down, ends up on eight with A and B pedals down. Okay, the ending, the last part of the lick is a little bit different. We go to our third fret, we play three and five as a groove. That part is exactly the same as this. So we play three and five, five with the thumb, five at the second fret with our thumb, five at the third fret with our thumb. Okay, then we press A and B pedals down, play three and five at the second. Second, slide it to the third. Back to the second. Third fret, release pedals. Okay, the lick real slow. Okay, and I believe you'll be able to figure that out if you watch the video and watch my hand. But like I said, this is the basic pattern. Then that just does the same exact thing except in pedals down position. Then you start the lick out exactly the same. That's the same as this. But then you do this. All right, so give this a try and let me know what you think. Uh, it's a good Lord Green lick or a good chicken picking type lick. And you heard it with the rhythm, so you see how you can work it in over a song that's in G. Okay, then like always, I, I tell you to try to, you know, to move those around. That's how you're going to learn your fretboard and learn your neck of your guitar. So, all right, so give this a try and I uh, hope it helps you. All right, as always, just thank you and I hope you enjoyed this uh, installment uh, of one of the greatest, great pickers. And uh, like I said, got to see him up in Dallas this year and still an amazing player and uh, seemed like a really super nice guy. I got to just say hi to him for a minute and take a picture. but. Uh, Anyhow, hope you enjoyed this lick. Hope it's something that you'll be able to use. And as always, uh, my son and I thank you for tuning in and keep picking.